Hey everybody, welcome to Shut Up and Pick. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, appreciate you liking and subscribing to us, and uh, thanks for uh, watching all the other videos on the channel. If you like instrument demos, uh, there's a bunch of them. Uh, today we've got another interesting one for you. Uh, we've got a we had a lap steel guitar on before, but this is a pedal steel guitar. This is an Emmons pedal steel guitar from the 60s. It is a what they call a GS10. It was the student model um, pedal steel. It has uh, three pedals, one knee lever on your right. Uh, that uh, lowers your E's down to E flat, if you know what that means. <laughs> if you don't, uh, you know, if you're just learning steel, you'll you'll find out what these knee levers and pedals do. Um, it's a killer sounding guitar. It's had some some work done. We'll talk about that. Um, I'll, I'll do a little demo here for you, and then we'll chit chat about it. So, uh, without further ado, let's shut up and pick.
So that's what uh, it sounds like in the hands of someone who is not a great steel player, but uh, I, I do enjoy playing steel. I've been playing steel probably since I was, uh, I guess, 18, 19 years old. My first steel was a Sierra Double 12 uh, pedal steel that I found at a local music store and used to have to get my dad and I uh, every Saturday to to uh, pull it from downstairs in my bedroom to go out and play gigs with it. It was just a two-man operation. It was a very heavy steel guitar, and I'm thankful for... Um, I never did really learn much back neck on the on the C6 neck uh, double. Uh, the double neck steels, they have an e, E9 neck on the front and a C6 neck on the back, and I never was a C6 guy. Uh, there are guys that absolutely tear it up, and it's amazing stuff, more of a jazz swing kind of thing. This is the, your E9 is your typical you know country music steel um, guitar tuning. And uh, like I said, this is an Emmons, G Emmons GS10, and uh, it's from the 1960s, but it's had some work done to it. Um, I got it off of Craigslist. I buy a lot of things on Craigslist, probably like uh, you other guitar folks do. Um, but it's had uh, it's been totally repainted. Um, I think it's been sort of taken apart and put back together. And I've done a little bit of fiddling. Of, uh, if you need any steel guitar information, go to the Steel Guitar Forum. They are just a plethora and a lot of great, nice guys that just... Um, don't mind sharing their knowledge at all and they they are super super knowledgeable um, so I, I went on there and checked out and learned to, learned a few things and how to how to get things working the way they should uh, my other steel that I have is a stage one pedal steel which is a newer steel it's not a push pull this is what they call an Emmons push pull so basically this is a pro Emmons guitar just in a student package just a, without the, the frills without the neck the neck is pretty much flush someone has put a little metal uh, thing below this neck but uh, usually a, the neck is higher but um, you know, it's got some student tuning machines and, and that kind of thing. Most professional steels have more knee levers, you know. Uh, my Stage 1 has three pedals, four knee levers, and this one has one. So uh, it would be great to have uh, all those other ones. But I tell you what, I'll trade some of those knee levers for the tone that these vintage Emmons uh, will give you. And uh, people used to always say there's nothing that beats an old push-pull sound, and I will have to agree with them with that. And uh, I love John Huey's playing and all those kinds of guys. I don't know if John played a push-pull. He probably did, but... Uh, all my favorite guys play the Emmons steels, and uh, there's a lot of great steels out there that sound great too, but there's just nothing like an Emmons push pull. So, appreciate you stopping by today. Uh, if you like Americana or bluegrass music, you can check out some of the links below and uh, let us know what you think about steel. Let us know what kind of steel you play if you play pedal steel. And uh, we'll see you next time on Shut Up and Pick.